Today we're actually going to be taking a step back from BotPress and looking at something a little bit different, but kind of the same in a lot of ways. So recently I wanted to make a bot that would help me with reflashing and while well, remapping ECUs because there's a lot of calculations that need to be done and double checked and those calculations are usually pretty big and doing those every single time for like 100 times in one map seems stupid so I decided you know what I know how to build bots I'm just going to build something that can automate this for me which kind of iterates how important this is as a skill because if I didn't know how to do this I need to pay someone to do it however when I finished building the bot I realized that this is not the best way to do it it just doesn't work because it's too slow every single time you want to put in a value like let's say you want to uh, measure mass airflow it's like what's the board times and stroke what's the rpm what's the displacement of the engine it's just so many questions and after every single value the bot is like okay what's this value what's this value instead of that you can just have like a place where you can just fill it all in click calculate and then it calculates so i did some thinking and i thought the best way to do this is to have like some sort of website where you fill in all the values or like a spreadsheet you fill in all the values you click calculate and then you get the outcome pretty much instantly now i am an ex-web designer but my web design business was mostly focused or towards like aesthetics and making websites pretty and interactive um so my background actually didn't help me at all here what did help me is my background in html so at school i take a subject called cat computer applicated technology and i'm pretty good at it as well especially the html part so i actually designed a like purely html and css javascript website for this use case i'm not gonna center this video around showcasing the website itself i'm gonna instead show you guys how we can use the skills that we learn in botpress in other places as well because while i've been using botpress for literally a year and a month now i've learned a lot of javascript because that's the only coding language that botpress uses is javascript so i'm going to show you guys how what i learned in botpress you can also use in other applications like with this website. So I'm only going to show one example um, of how these calculations go. So let's say if we want to calculate mass airflow, we'll say our engine is running at 6,000 RPM at a volumetric efficiency of uh, 100%, eight cylinders, 350 cubic inches, that's about 5.7 liters. We want our output units to be in feet. Um, so we say imperial units, calculate mass airflow. And it says we have a mass airflow of 46.7 uh, pounds per minute of 5.18 pounds uh, per minute per cylinder. So now I'm gonna show you guys some of the JavaScript. Here we just check that all our fields that are relevant are, uh, is fit in, we use is not a number. So if it is not a number, then we put this in our uh, result box, which is please enter valid input values. So the first step is converting everything to liters. So if it's cc's, we just divided it by a thousand to get it to liter. If it's cubic inches, we multiply it with 0 0.016 rounded. Then we need to get the volume of airflow before we can get the mass of airflow. And here we assume that we are running at standard conditions, 15 degrees Celsius, and 14 psi of, of air pressure basically uh, sea level and here if our user wants their output in metric units versus imperial units here we uh, times it with a thousand divided by 60 to get it to grams per second and if they are in imperial units we want to get it from uh, liters back to pounds per minute so we multiply it with 2.204 and right here to get the mass airflow per cylinder we just say mass airflow in pounds per minute divided by cylinders and then here in our result box we say which is per cylinder to fix two that two fix two just means uh, rounded to the nearest two decimals and then pounds per cylinder this honestly was more a lot of work than it was really difficult work because uh yeah you've been trained basically to do this if you used wordpress it's the same principles it's the same methodology everything is pretty much the same except for those three differences that I mentioned. So if you are a bot builder in BotPress, don't be scared to venture out to do something like this instead. The HTML is very straightforward. You don't need to know much about HTML to be able to do this. And you can get away with just a surface level understanding of HTML. And lastly, I also wanted to create like this feature where you can download a profile, like an engine profile, and then upload it later when you're working with it. Because let's say that you're like a mechanic shop and you have like 10 vehicles there. That you're working on you don't want to input the values every single time that you want to make a calculation so basically let's say that here uh, we're just going to enter some random values and now we're going to say export profile then it exports it as engine profile.json it's a json file you save it and then if we let's say reset our form now now we have no values whatsoever in here then we say upload profile and then we just click that json file and then all the values that we input it are back in the document. It's just a way to save you time if you're working with multiple vehicles. 
And then as another example, let's calculate volumetric efficiency. So let's say we have an engine of 402 cubic inches displacement. We're running at an RPM of 6,000. We have a measured airflow of 472 uh, cubic feet per minute. And then our volumetric efficiency is 81.96%. For the people that don't know what that means, basically let's say that atmospheric pressure is 14.7 PSI. It means that the uh, air pressure in one cylinder is 82% of 14.7. So if you do the maths, that comes out to what, well, however much that is. So basically it's 82% of 14.7 PSI, which is atmospheric air pressure. So before we go into the code, we can calculate injector duty cycle, required fuel mass cycle time, volumetric efficiency, injector pulse width, mass airflow, and an air fuel ratio correction factor. All right, so let's start at the very top here. We just have three different uh, links. This is for our URL and our favicon there in the tab. Here we just have some CSS that just makes the website look manageable because before that it just looked really boring. There wasn't enough colors, enough padding, and I wanted columns as well. Here we have my social links. Um, I forgot to mention that, but basically it's like, you see my YouTube, my LinkedIn, my um, Fiverr, and my email address is all linked at the top. So you can like, if you say open link in new tab, if you press on it like right there, it takes you to my, to my LinkedIn page. And here we have all our information, all our calculations is in this form. This you see a calculate uh, injected duty cycle as an example. This like just group, that's one div. We also use divs for the calculation results bar. So let's take um, injected duty cycle as an example here. Let's Let's take this one. So you see here we have a required fuel flow and a total fuel flow. So let's say that we have fuel injectors that can flow one pound per minute of fuel. So we'll say our total fuel flow is one pound per minute. And let's say our required fuel flow at a certain intersection of RPM and engine load is 0.462. Then we have an injected duty cycle of 46%. So first we sort them into groups in the div with our calculation group here. We have our heading, which is just a uh, calculate injected duty cycle. These are fields that the user can physically put their values into. So we just call that a field row. And then we have our result box, which is right there. That is our answer when we click on calculate duty cycle. So now I'm going to show you guys some of the JavaScript. So first we get our fields and we store them as values. Here we have a required fuel flow and total fuel flow. It is the, exactly the same as the, the variables at the top. But if we use those variables twice, let's say in different types of code, like let's say in volumetric efficiency and in mass airflow calculation, we both of the times we need to use cylinders as input. And I'm not sure why this happened, but I needed to give them different names um, to use them twice in the code. I'm not sure why. I think it's because we labeled them as constants and then we try to use them twice with different values. I think that's what happened. Basically, I just ended up naming it. As you can see, I had to do with RPM because RPM was a field in numerous calculations. Uh, this one in volumetric efficiency, where we calculate volumetric efficiency, we have it as VE RPM. And then at other places, we just have it as RPM. That was a little confusing, but I hope you kept up. Yeah, you see that uh, to calculate duty cycle, you just divide the required fuel flow by the total fuel flow. You times that by 100 to get a percentage. And then we display that in our um, result box. And that is literally just duty cycle. Now, as you can see here, to calculate volumetric efficiency, it's a little bit more code. Well, it's a bunch more code, but it kind of goes to the same thing. We have an odd few if statements and everything else. But I will say the main difference between this and BotPress is that BotPress does really use um, let, I'm not really sure what that's called. It doesn't use obviously these uh, console.log, it doesn't use inner HTML, it doesn't use any of that stuff. You can use const, but const in BotPress, it only works for that single execute code card. Like here, th that can be referenced across the entire web page. But in BotPress, if you use const like we do right here, it's only gonna be in that execute code card. I guess it's like a pro and a con, depending on how you look at it. If you wanna be able to reference it outside of the execute code card, you need to use a workflow variable or bot variable or user variable or something like that. Anyway though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to work in some other areas as well and not just bot press because bots are great, but they're not always the solution. Sometimes they are better solutions. Anyway, cheers, I'll see you in the next video.